Hi, today we're going to be working on topic one. We're going to be doing the activity called Review What You Know. Um, this is a portion of your reviewing um, from first grade. So we're going to go over a couple of words that you should already know. So this should just be triggering a couple of memories in your head um, before you work on the practice pages. Um, it is page number two in your math workbook. Um, so just to get started, these are the words we're going to be discussing. Equation, plus, minus, equals, part, whole, and keywords. Um, an equation is also referred to as a number sentence. Um, an equation could be referring to addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It's a number sentence. It could even be a mixture of a lot of those. Um, equations always have an equal sign. Um, let's go ahead and show you a couple of equations. So we've got 5 plus 8 equals 13. We could use these and we can show a couple of other fact families. Um, we could say 13 minus 5. We could say 13 minus 8 equals 5. There's one more equation that we're missing. If we were talking about the fact family using the numbers um, 5, 8, and 13, you're right, the other one would be 8 plus 5 equals 13, and it's because of the commutative property of addition that it doesn't matter which order that I'm adding these numbers. It does matter about the subtraction, though, so you can't use the commutative property with that subtraction. So remember, these are all called equations. And remember, the equations have the equal sign. I'm going to just circle that equal sign. Um, a couple of things that you also have learned um, is about this word. It says plus. Um, a lot of times in first grade, you probably just said five plus three. And you would refer to this addition sign as the word plus. Um, we're going to be adding on to that. Um, we would call this addition. We could even say this is an addition equation. Um, we'll even talk about the special name for these words. I'm sorry, for these numbers here. These are called add-ends. And this is what is coming in the pages that you'll be doing next. Add-ends, the numbers that are added. You see that word in there? Are called add-ends, the numbers that are added. And this is a plus sign. The next word is minus. Um, minus is the opposite of plus, um, just like addition is the opposite of subtraction. Um, minus just means that you're subtracting something. Let's look at this minus sign. Let's just do 13 minus 3. That would have a difference of 10. Minus is this little sign right here. We're just doing subtraction. Um, we could talk about this special word as well. That's called the difference. You'll be learning a lot more about that and be using that word when you're referring to subtraction equations. So remember, this is minus. Minus sign. So you should remember all of these things from first grade, but just in case, here's your refresher. Um, equals. We were just talking about equals when we were speaking of the word equation. We also talked about equals when we were talking about minus and plus um, and those couple of things. So equals. Equals, I think about having um, the equal sign when I talk about this word. Equals. You guys can't see it right now, but my dog is staring at me with her toy she wants to play. Equals. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Um, you might even see some equations where you're trying to make both sides equal. Um, for example, if this side said one plus four equals something plus two, you might have to figure out what equals the same thing on this side. Um, equals, what happens on this side must be equivalent to the same thing over here. So 1 plus 4, I'm going to just write that number underneath here. I like doing this little V sign. You may have done that in first grade. If you didn't, this is something that I want you to try to learn, okay? Um, 1 plus 4 is 5, and I'm going to just bring down my equals sign, and I'm going to bring down my box. 
So something plus the number two. Well, hmm, five minus two will tell me what that missing add end is. Um, and so I know that it is three. Three plus two equals five. What goes on this side must equal the same as the opposite side. This is something that gets to be a little bit tricky, but you'll have more practice with this as we keep going. So if you're thinking, oh my golly, this is just a crazy woman teaching me something I don't remember, it's okay. We're going to figure it out. All right, but notice equals. Five equals five. These both have to equal the same thing on both sides. So equals just means something on this side of the equation has to equal the same thing as this side. Um, if it said five equals four, we would say, uh-oh, that's not correct. And then we could just put a slash through. They're not equal. Um, you want them to be equal, equal on both sides and have that equal sign actually make sense. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about um, are these two terms. And they kind of go together. So we've got part and we've got whole. Um, I think a lot about number bonds when I think about parts and wholes. Um, it also makes me remember this clapping thing that I would do where it kind of looks like this. So you have a part and another part and you put them together. Part, part, whole. Um, so what that essentially means is this number, seven, when you add it to this number, three, will equal to ten. These are the two parts, and here is the whole. So we've got this represented as a number bond. If I was going to write it as an equation, I would say 7 plus 3 equals 10. So my parts would be 7 and 3. You're going to use that word add ends in second grade, though. Right now, you can use the word parts because we're talking about it. All right, so you can say that these parts, 7 plus 3, equal this whole, which is 10. We also know that that's called the sum. I know you guys got this already, all right? So part, part, whole. Part, part, whole. Let's talk about it again. I would not talk about part, part, whole when I'm using subtraction. So not for subtraction. We're going to use part, part, whole for addition equations. So not for when we're doing minus. We're only going to do it when we're using um, that plus sign, the addition sign. So 5 plus 2 equals 7. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 12 plus 3 equals 15. If I was told, find all of the parts, I would circle 5 and 2. Those are the parts of this equation. 8 and 2 are the parts of this equation, and 12 and 3 are the parts of this equation. Well, Mrs. Lane, sometimes they're a little bit mixed up, and they don't look like that. Let's talk about that. So sometimes your parts might be at the back of your equation and not in the front. So it could say 13 equals 10 plus 3. Well, 13 is the whole. That's not the part. So make sure that you're looking for these two add-ins because those are the pieces, the parts, that you would be adding together. So the parts on an equation that is formatted like this would be 10 and 3. You've got to have both of those parts circled sometimes. Um, so pay attention to that on your review, what you know. Um, the next thing, let's talk about the whole. The whole is a, the whole number, the whole piece, the whole portion. Um, for your addition. So if we were doing, let's see, five. I don't know why I keep picking five. I guess that's my favorite number of today. All right, so five plus six, the whole would be 11. The sum would be 11. All right, so the whole would just be what comes after the equal side, the whole piece, part, part, whole, when you put them all together. So for two plus three, you put them together, it's five. Okay, got it. Moving along, keywords. Um, this is something that you learned when you were in first grade as well. When you're looking at some word problems, you will see some keywords. Now, in second grade, I'm going to have you start circling the keywords um, 
and, and making sure that you know if it's a subtraction or an addition equation. Um, so for example, some keywords that tell you that something is subtraction would be minus. It could say less. It might even say flew away. If somebody ate something, then it wouldn't be gone. If something was lost, it wouldn't be there anymore. And that would also mean it's a subtraction equation. So these are just some keywords that mean that you must subtract. And so here's that subtraction sign. Um, I also wanna talk about the addition keywords. I don't know why I have this word over here that says part. I meant to grab the word that says plus. They both start with that P. All right, so these are addition. So this plus sign, um, if something is added, obviously, if you got more of something, if you buy something, um, just clues that mean that you have received some more of something. Um, addition, if you came, like maybe some friends came to the playground. Now there are more. Um, sometimes you might even see it say in, well, that's not really. In all kind of, um, like if some friends came to the playground, how many in all, it wants you to add them together. If some friends left the playground, um, that would mean that it was subtraction. We'll talk a lot more about keywords. I have another video um, on my YouTube channel about keywords if you're really interested in learning about that right now. Um, I can link that to the bottom. But here's your topic one review, what you know. You should be able to do page number two in your workbook after this, and you also should have a little refresher of um, some skills that you learned in first grade.